This is alternative political analysis and this video will be on the subject of Arana. Now Arana is a political document which was offered by Republican Sinn Féin and it is still their policy. And the aim of Arana is a pluralist participative democracy in Ireland. And there are several elements to this. There is a new constitution but w which will be comprised of a charter of rights, a new government structure and a provision that Ireland joins bodies which do not violate Irish sovereignty and Irish neutrality. And this brings us on to the rights charter and the first right in Article 1 is the right to citizenship regardless of race, sex, religion, philosophy, language or politics. And Article 2 contains a right to life, liberty and security and free freedom from arbitrary detention. And Article 3 would guarantee the right to a free conscience and free expression, which is a positive. And Article 4 would contain the right to participate in government and the right to access public services. And Article 5 would, co would contain the right to democratic expression. Article 6 would be the right to an education, the right to l earn a living income, and a right to access welfare and health care, which is important, and as is the right in Article 7, which is the right to marry and found a family, which is good for the health of a nation, and Article 8 would be very important in societal context. The right to equal pay for equal work and the right to unionize as labor. And Article 9 would, would inform the public that rights constrain when person infringes on the rights of others. And would include such instances as financial crime or violent crime. And this brings us on to the RNA government structure. And this brings us on to the Dal Aran, the Legislative Assembly, which would be made up of 256 Chakta Dala or MPs or legislative representatives that which would be elected by the single transferable vote and each Chakta Dala would represent 25,000 constituents and this brings us on to the Shannad or the Senate and there would be 50 senators elected by the single transferable vote and 50, senator, 50 senators appointed, which means there would be 100 senators overall. But the Dal Legislative Assembly would be the upper house and the Senate the lower house, as Arnaud states explicitly that Dal Aaron would have supremacy. And this brings us on to the Dal functions. This is the Legislative Assembly. Um, defense, diplomacy, foreign policy and protecting culture. And it would hold legislative power, i.e. the power to legislate. And it would elect the President, who would not only be the Premier, but the Chief of State 
simultaneously and Dalaram, the Legislative Assembly, would have the power to elect the government executive which would be nominated by the President who, as I just said, is the Premier and the Chief of State and Dalaran would act as a watchdog if the executive interfered in the judiciary and this brings us on to Dalaran's legislative powers which they would have the power to legislate via private members bills, executive bills, provincial statutes and popular initiatives and the legislature would have revenue generating powers as well and this brings us on to provincial parliaments or provincial legislatures whose, whose responsibilities would include developing Irish provinces um, not just economically but culturally as well they would legislate for Irish provinces and they would be responsible for expanding education at higher and further levels in provinces and they would be ultimately responsible for generating provincial revenue and this brings us on to the provinces themselves and why being necessary for provincial legislatures and uh, it's not just the occupation or the current constitutional scenario as Ulster, Connacht, Leinster and Munster all have different histories and all have different local cultures and this can be seen in the etymology of their names alone and Ulster comes from Star. now the stir in three of the Irish provinces come from the Norse word star which means province and in any case Ulster means province of the bearded people as all is the Irish word for beard and the Ollie were the bearded people and Connacht comes from an old Irish word meaning brave and wise so Connacht means province of the brave and wise and Leinster means lane star and the lane was an old Irish sphere so basically lane star means province of the spear throwing people and this brings us on to Munster which comes from Moon star which means the province of Moor's men now Moor was such an important and historical figure in Ireland that the only reference to him is in the most southern provinces name and the source for that information was Saint and Stones Saints and Stones dot net and this brings us on to the other go government structures within Arana the regional boards and these would oversee the regions within the provinces of Ireland and they would be staffed by provincial legislature appointments to the regional boards and local councillors from the district councils. They would oversee local government, local health care, regional planning, economic stimuli and investing in and promoting um, local culture. And this brings us on to the district councils, which would be the local government in Arana, and they would serve between ten thousand.
thousand constituents and forty thousand constituents per district council and they would oversee the local judiciary and the local law enforcement they would be responsible for schooling and children's education they would also have planning welfare primary industry health recreation and housing powers and they would also be responsible for job creation and regulation and this brings us on to community councils which would be basically an empowered version of um, the currently existing local community centres and neighbourhood watch organisations and that is Erna and that is what I believe in as an Irish Republican and if you want to learn more about Erna I would strongly recommend 